The 2023 World Track and Field Championships is officially unfolding with incredible excitement. It's only day three, ladies and gentlemen, and we've already witnessed various historic performances. In the men's 10,000 meters, Joshua Cheptegei has just completed the mythical three-peat, winning in 2019, 2022, and now in 2023, making him one of the very few athletes to ever complete this. In the men's 100, Noah Lyles shut down every single one of the haters across the globe, winning this extremely competitive final in 9.83, a new personal record and one of the most clutch performances of his career. And not to be overshadowed by the previous two events is the super high drama unfolding in the men's 400, as not just one, not two, but three new national records were set in the opening heats, with Ingvaldsen from Norway leading the way with a super quick time of 44.3. This year's World Championships are already proving to be absolute fire, with great performance after great performance happening every single day. However, arguably the single most anticipated event of this entire competition comes in the Women's 100, as this event has endless drama and various favorites to bring home one of the most prestigious titles in all of athletics. Now, if you're a fan of track and field, it is absolutely mandatory that you be excited about this event. We have the legend herself, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, looking to win her sixth individual title. We have the ever-improving Jamaican talent, Sharika Jackson, last year's world champion over the 200 meters. There's the American challenger, Shakari Richardson, who has looked nearly untouchable this season. There's also Marie Jose Toulou, the veteran racer from the Ivory Coast. There's Julian Alfred, the St. Lucian talent, who has currently not lost a single race this season, and beyond these top-tier sprinters, we also have many incredibly talented athletes, including Eva Svoboda, Brittany Brown, Natasha Morrison, Daryl Nita, and Dina Asher-Smith, just to name a few. What makes this race so exciting is the true history at stake for various runners. There's legendary territory to approach for Fraser Price, there's the goal to break up the Jamaican and American dominance, plus there's the goal for many, to disrupt the big names and achieve something that nobody saw coming. Now, for the opening round of this Women's 100, things were pretty much as expected. You had Shakari Richardson running the fastest time on the day at 10.92, followed closely by Eva Svoboda and Julian Alfred, the only three to break 11 seconds on this day. Now, the full lineup of sprinters who qualified into the semis also included every single one of the big names that you would expect, as Fraser Price, Asher Smith, Jackson, and Marie Jose Toulou all qualified. And in order to make it into the semis, you had to run a time of 11.26 or faster. This is fairly standard territory for the women's 100, but just like we saw on the men's side, when the semifinals finally arrived, some real drama started to unfold. For these semifinals races in the women's 100 meters, the first two heats were very fast, with Fraser Price winning heat one in 10.89 seconds, and for heat two, we saw Sharika Jackson light up the track with an effortless finish of 10.79, tying to the 100th of a second with Marie Jose Toulou. At this point, many of the big names were already through. However, with a very slow start of 0.22 seconds, more than double the allowable reaction time, Shakari Richardson finished third in Heat 2, running a time of 10.84. This time put her in third place behind Shariga Jackson and Tolu, and this was a rather scary moment, because she would now have to wait until Heat 3 to see if she made it into the finals or not. Now, the first two heats certainly showcased a decent amount of drama. However, for Heat 3, we saw Julian Alfred, this year's NCAA champion and 60-meter champion, false start, or at least we thought she did, because just a few minutes after calling the athletes back, she only got a warning from the official, and thankfully, she was allowed to stay in the semifinals. Now, the reason that this is such a huge deal is because in last year's World Championships, she was eliminated by the official for an actual false start. And if any of you remember, last year's false starts were out of control, with many athletes getting disqualified by less than one one-hundredth of a second. The moment that she was called back, I'm sure she had a moment of disbelief. And when they saw the reaction times, her name came up as under 0.1 seconds. But thankfully, she got back into the blocks, and she actually won this third heat with a time of 10.92. This semifinals was quite stressful for multiple athletes. But the final is now officially set, with every single one of the big names officially ready to compete. So now, it is the moment that we have all been waiting for. Who will win the women's 100 meter dash in the 2023 World Championships? 
With arguably the single most talented field in women's 100 meter history, we saw a new face emerge as the winner in 2023. Because against the history of the 100 meters and the most talented field ever assembled, Shakari Richardson just won the 2023 World Championships with a new championship record time of 10.65 seconds, taking down Shelly Ann Fraser Price and taking down Fraser Price's previous championship record, which she set last season at 10.67. Now finishing in second was Sharika Jackson in 10.72, and finishing in third was Shelly Ann Fraser Price in 10.77. This was easily Shakari Richardson's greatest moment to date. Running all the way out in lane nine, she somehow pulled out a 10.65, winning the global gold against the greatest competition ever assembled. Honestly, this race was unreal, as many people counted out Shakari from the very beginning, but this just shows the true talent that is Shakari Richardson, and the remainder of 2023 looks incredible. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.